Today's math strategy video is on multiplying whole numbers. And what we're going to be looking at is specifically multiplying a multi digit by a one digit. Okay, so our strategy for today is looking at an area model. So in this area model, I use like what you're usually going to see is a, a rectangle of some various size. And for this problem, I'm going to be multiplying three times 1,125. Now that's a pretty big number, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down and into a simpler problem. So I'm gonna take 1,125, I'm gonna break it into its thousands, and then its hundreds, its tens, and then it's ones. And so you see up here, this is where we have our thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and it's ones. So we have 1,120 and five. And then I'm gonna also keep the number three, the single digit right here. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be multiplying these, but we're gonna be multiplying it in steps. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to multiply three times a thousand. So what this is going to be is three times 1,000. Okay. And so three times 1,000 is going to give me 3,000. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put it here. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to next multiply my hundred. So I have three times 100 and three times 100 is 300. And so that would look like this. So I've had this multiplied and I have it in parentheses for me. And then I'm adding because I can't forget about these. I've got to add all of my products together. I have three times 100 and that gives me 300. And I got to don't forget my addition sign. I've got to bring it down. So I've solved this and I'm bringing it down right here. I'm solving this and I'm bringing it down right underneath. So now I'm going to go to my tens. I'm going to do three times 20 and three times 20 is 60. So now I'm going to also three times 20 and I'm going to solve it right. Bring down my addition symbol and I'm going to bring it down there. Okay, now I'm gonna multiply three times five. Three times five is 15. So now I'm gonna add that three times five is 15. So now all I have to do is add up my products. That's a very, very important next step. After we've multiplied everything, we need to add these products together. This is the product of the three and the thousands, my three and hundreds, my three and tens, and three and ones. So 3,000 plus 300 gives me 3,300. Plus, I'm going to add 60 and then 15. So that's plus 75. So that gives me 3,375. Let's do another example together. Say that I have the number 2 times 637. So now this one is only a three digit number. So I'm going to put my two out here just like I did, but this one had four boxes. So because it had four place values, but this one only has three. So if I break this into its hundreds, then it's tens, and then it's ones. Now I'm going to multiply inside of these boxes. So I am going to go through that same process two times 600 gives me 1200 because 600 plus 600 is 1200. Okay, two times 30 would be 60 because 30 plus 30 is 60 and then two times seven is 14. Then what I'm gonna do out here to the side is I'm just gonna add these together. Got uh, 1260 and then 14. 
So my answer would be 1,274. That is the end of today's math strategy video with area models.